Hi everybody, it's Miss Robles here, and today we're going to read a book entitled The Reader by Amy Hest, and it's illustrated by Lauren Castillo. Lauren Castillo, I just love her. I don't know Amy Hest's work very much, but I do know Lauren Castillo. Her books, Nana in the City and The Troublemaker, are beautiful. And in this case, she is the illustrator, and I love the way she uses watercolors and the lines in her work. It's just beautiful, so I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. The Reader by Amy Hest, illustrated by Lauren Castillo. The Reader has a small brown dog and a sturdy suitcase that is brown and a long red sled with a long loopy rope for pulling through deep snow. His boots are high and very heavy, but he is strong and his train tracks are impeccably straight. They are beautiful. I love the way the dog's going around and around. The dog skips off, a bouncing duck chasing his tail, a bunny, a blue jay, his tail, and then off he goes to the top of the hill to wait. He is good at waiting. The reader comes slowly, pulling his sled across the world. It is hard work, but he is good at working hard. The wind blows, snow blows. The hill is very, very tall. The top is far, far away. Up and up he climbs, tilting in the wind, pulling in the blowing snow. And then he is there at the top of the world. Here I am, says the reader to the dog. They make angels, snowballs, more angels and a snow dog for the dog. Can't leave the dog out. It is shivery cold at the top of the world, but there are warm drinks and crunchy toast for two. Snow falls, and the only sound in the world is sip, crunch, crunch, sip, crunch, crunch. When there is nothing left to crunch or sip, they curl up close, and now, says the reader to the dog, it is time. Slowly he opens the suitcase. Click, click. A book, the very best book. Two good friends, says the reader to the dog, and he opens the book to the very first page. The dog waits. It is hard, but he is good at waiting. And then at last, the reader reads. And the only sound in the world is the sound of the reader reading to the very last page, the very last word. Two good friends, says the reader to the dog, just like us. The dog licks his nose. They pack up the suitcase. Then the reader wraps the dog in his two strong arms, and off they go. Fast and faster still, to the bottom of the hill, across the world. And then they are there, home, together. A boy, a dog, and a snowy I think this is such a great book to sit down when it's chilly outside and have some hot chocolate and just sit and listen to this story. It's just beautiful.